the hotel would like me to be removed from the property? Okay. You know, the Lord was talking. Uh, the last interaction I had with police um, was like I was very crazy. But I'm happy if the if the hotel would like me removed, that's no problem. Why didn't they just ask? I, do I? Why would I? Why? Okay. Why did they call? I don't understand. What, what are the police? How are the police? Next to me? What's that? No, all right. Can, can you just give me a minute? I was sleeping. Yeah, we saw it on the live stream. What's that? You saw it on the live stream? That's what she just said. So what? I was sleeping. Something seems crazy. Yeah, they're blocking the door. The, the keyhole. Who? Them. They're blocking the keyhole with their fingers. Oh. Maybe you should call the police, police. This just seems crazy, whatever's going on. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. We why don't you call why don't you call the actual the police station? Okay. Can, I, can I ask what your name is? Yeah, Warren. Benjamin. You you're Officer Warren? Yeah. This isn't making any sense to me because uh, the the you are are you telling me the truth? If the hotel wants us to be removed, they would. But this doesn't make any sense because why didn't they just ask us? I'm just gonna call. I'm just going to call the South Portland police, okay, to verify? Okay, well, if I look out, if I look out the people, I can't see you. That doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But why would why would the hotel call the police to have us removed? For what reason? But we're here illegally, and we paid rent. We I mean, we paid to stay here. Valid response. Please wait while we connect your call. Okay. Hi, uh, this is Grace Thorpe. I'm staying at the Casco Bay Hotel in South Portland. I was wondering if um, you guys sent officers out here to come talk to me and my dad, Benjamin Thorpe. Um, give me one second, okay? Okay. We're just verifying with the police. With whatever. Okay. She's a 
She's a female police officer. What do you mean? It's a police officer. Sorry. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, it's fine. I, I don't I don't think anyone's I just don't okay. understand what the fuck is going on. Yeah, okay. All right, sorry. Hi. Yeah, hi. Benjamin, can you just step out here for me? Sure. All right. Are you Grace? Are you Grace? Yes. Okay. Do okay. you have an ID on you? Uh it's in here. Okay. Can you grab it for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. Have your ID on you? I'm not sure what's going on. You're saying that the hotel looked like Correct. to leave? Correct. Somebody okay. allegedly reported that you guys were using illicit substances in the hotel room on live stream. So the hotel was concerned. They didn't want somebody to overdose or have any type of drug reaction. Mm -hmm. So they have asked us to remove you from the property. Okay. On what live stream? I have no idea. So you have no evidence at all? Nope. Yeah. Does somebody know that you guys have a protection order out against each other? We don't have a protection order against each other. Okay, well, it shows in our system that you have an active protection order in place, that you guys aren't allowed to have contact with each other. Oh, That's not true. I can show you the paper. It says it's been dismissed. Okay, well, in in the computer, it's still showing active. Okay, but... So... Okay, but we didn't do any illicit substances on any okay. stream. You can look Were you on my stream? Yes. Okay. Do you have somebody that you don't get along with that might have wanted to? Do we have stalkers? There? Yes. Okay. Stalkers. You can look through the entire stream. And we smoked outside. That's it. Okay. So we don't know the head staff, and we said the same thing to staff. What what evidence do you have that they were smoked? They have the right. It's private property to remove anybody sure. that they want to remove. Correct. So, but we just need to do IDs first so that we can okay. kind of figure this out. All right. Do you, is yours in there as well? Oh, yours on YouTube? ID? Uh, Do I have an ID on me? Uh, I think it's in the wallet. Yeah, it's in his wallet in the area. Are you together? She's my daughter. Okay. We're together, yeah. Okay. Not your name, Dave Bursa. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know. What do you live really stream? Yeah. What's your random? Why? Like, Every day, 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 like stepping over there with him and just burning it. You could show him on the uh, crazy show on the island you just before. Here is how old are you? I'm 21. Okay. You have. Okay. Okay. Termination of a domestic no contact. Okay. Termination of no contact. Okay. Termination of no contact. Okay. And when was this issued? And it tells me the 24th. Mm -hmm. To you. Seven mm -hmm. August 1st. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the court records online. It was posted. No contact over You can look. I can look it up and show you. It's in the court records. Yeah, you can go around and show um, the issue. Oh. Can you just kind of explain to me the basis? Like, was it you were a minor and you weren't supposed to have contact with dad? Is that how that? No. Okay. He he got arrested for DV. The charges were dropped. The no contact order was put in place. So the no contact order was in place because of that. Yeah, and okay. I requested the the, church, the charges got dropped. I requested they drop this, and then they dropped it. Okay. And so when was that incident? Like the spring sometime? It was or was it like years ago? Okay. But I don't really understand what that has to do with anything. Really. Well, somebody clearly has something against you guys or something. I, I'm just telling you, my entire life has been on stream for the past nine hours. You can go back and watch every minute of what I was on stream. 
Like there's there's you can watch it, you can scroll through it. Okay. There's nothing illegal going on at all. So you can watch it. That's it. No problem. So you live stream like your day to day. Yeah, my like, dad like, stream my entire day. Basically. Okay. Yeah. And so anybody could have had like seen you walking into the hotel yes. at some point on live yes. stream. Yes. Okay. And did you show at any point like the room number that you were in and stuff like that? I didn't, but I have I have stalkers who might have called and said my name and okay. I, there's nothing I can. Has do this about happened that. before? Yes. yes. Okay. I have been doxxed and swatted before. Okay. Yes. All right. Is there a specific platform that you like stream on or YouTube? Okay. Let me. You said this on this Rhode Island. Sorry that you're having to deal with this. I don't. You know, we just come and they told us and like we said to them. It was just crazy to wake up to. It's just wow. That was crazy. Well, and they showed us the picture of your live stream, which we have not like. I'm like, okay, this looks like somebody sleeping in bed. Right. Right? Like, right. right. I would have no clue. I mean, it's like a, it's like a 10 hour life. It's just so crazy. That but I no also clue. didn't know, you know, like, Ooh. often protection orders are for domestic situations. Yes. Spouses. Right. But it has been removed, like, officially. You can look it up. Uh, Rhode Island, um, I mean, I can look it up for you. It's Rhode Island Public Courts. Whatever the public court search is, you can look up his name. I don't know if it's an active case anymore. Yeah. I understand. I understand. But like, you can't go back to that person. Yeah, we have to go back to that person. Yeah. The levels are not different. I understand this case. Do you still want to call still? Oh, I, I think I could have gotten The problem I have, this has no seal on it. It doesn't, you know, like, right, it's sure. in the system. Let okay. me try, I'll try to find it. So we're dealing with this um, protection order. It sounds like it might be a swatting type thing. Can you send me something? Your entire life on online. Um, and no big deal. Just kind of crack in the room, staff wanted them removed. Um, they eventually, but when I was running them through the system, there's a, you said it's dad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So her father well, has, uh, he's, he's a protected party in You have it on your phone? Um, yeah. and okay. Grace, the daughter, just provided me with like a, it's just like a photocopy of an order, no seal on it, no nothing. It's not a um, and it's basically a termination of the domestic no contact order. Yeah. But the temporary order is still in the system when you run them through NCIC. So, I mean, and of course the courts are closed, so it's not like we can call them and be like, hey, which is the correct one, the computer or... And that's my thought too, but. Mm -hmm. Search for court. It's her dad. So Grace is here. The daughter is here with her dad. She had a, from a domestic incident in March, had a PFA. Um, in a, like a domestic no contact order. <laughs> No, because it, it's not an active case anymore. Yeah. All I see is your divorce. All right. Could you give me this phone? Yeah. Got my glasses. Yep. 
So um, dad is the one that had the no contact order put in place for Correct. No, she had it against him. She has termination before. She is not in fear. She says she's here willingly. She's streaming her travel with her dad. They're traveling by RV. Um, order as of July 1st of this year and that's what she provided to me but it's just like a photocopied piece of paper no seal nothing official from the court it's just how long are you guys here for in Maine tonight we were going to stay in Maine going to Massachusetts on the 17th I believe so the 17th they were going to Mass so two days from now Somebody, she said that they have a bunch of like stalkers or people online that will call like squatting calls in. And so I said, was at any point like you showed where you were staying? And she's like, yes. I'm like, how about the room number? She's like, no, but they could have figured it out, you know, like found out that so, but she's been streaming for, she said nine, up, up to nine hours today. So yeah, since about 8 a.m. I think maybe more time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can call Warwick and see what they have, but like, they're probably going to have exactly what I can see because it's an NCIC. Yeah, uh, no, that's the court jurisdiction. Yep. So I'm kind of where you're at, you know, but also... Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's legit. It just doesn't have a seal. Like, anybody could have, you know. And actually, they just pulled up the public portal for courts in Rhode Island. So I think this answers our question. Because on it shows in their public portal on the court website that they also um, had a motion to vacate on the 1st. And that it was granted. So I'm good with that. If you're good with that, I just wanted to double check. Okay. Um, perfect. All right. Bye. Well, it's nice that Rhode Island does this because Maine does not do this that I know of. Yeah. So the, just the problem we have is like this. You can have this back on. Um, the problem we have is this, like, anybody could create this online, right? Right. So, right. like, without a seal, it being, like, official, saying, like, hey, this is what we have. Like, right. we have no way to tell that you didn't just create this on, you know, some... I Does gotcha. that make sense? Yeah. Um, we're sorry that this happened. We'll go talk to staff. Um, you know, I I can't say that they're going to yeah. let you stay, but um, it clearly doesn't smell like crack in your room. <laughs> It's a pretty distinct smell, so, you know, Yeah. Okay. if you want, we can see if they want to come just do a room inspection, if that's something you want and you want to stay. What do you, what do you think, Dad? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Did you yeah, kind of hear not, that? I, I'm not mad at you guys or that. Yeah. It's they just got, one of these have, things. I don't know what they told you, but they got an email, and it basically had, like, a screenshot of you guys in bed, and I was like, okay, that looks like somebody's sleeping. But, like, underneath it, it was like, so-and-so is staying in this room at your hotel, and they're smoking crack in the room on live stream. Mm. That's what it said. Okay. And so then they were like, well, we want them out. And we're like, well, we can't. Like, we can tell them that you want to them to leave. But we can't, yeah. like, forcefully remove you without them she saying, like, just, hey. like, live stream your life? Yeah. Yeah, she said on YouTube. So yeah. she's been on, like, all day on live stream. Yeah. And they've had, you said you've had swatting calls before. and Yeah, I've had this kind of thing before. Okay. I'm sorry um, that you have to go through this. But not that. I've been, I've been in jail. I've been in jail three times. For this same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's people What's online. Today? Today's Monday. So in the morning, I would call the courthouse in Warwick and just say, hey, we just had an incident last night with the police. And that motion to vacate has not been removed from NCIC, which is like NCIC. the national database. Yeah. 
Okay. Because it shows when we run your names, it shows in there that you guys are not allowed to have contact. Yeah. I don't doubt that Rhode Island is slow with that kind of stuff. Yeah. You guys are good to say they don't want you out without like, okay. So, um, I would call first thing in the morning as soon as the court opens so that they can remove that from the system, especially where you clearly, you know, both on the court website and that paper have that it was vacated. Okay. So, but you're going to have to do it through them because we can't remove that paperwork. Mm -hmm. And then every time you have police contact through the court in Rhode Island, they'll have to remove. So what happens is when we, when um, paperwork protection orders, anything like that gets put into the national system, it's only dispatch centers that can remove certain paperwork. And then the court does all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be automatic. It should have been. As soon as that vacate order went in, at the end of the day, they pull all of their, like, basically all of their protection orders, and they should all be removed. Yeah. So. But you, you, that's not what someone was reporting. No. You just you just happened, yes. Yeah. No. You just happen yeah. to be here with her. No. Do you want a picture of that to attach to the call, or are you good? Yeah. Do you mind if he just snaps sure. a picture real quick so we can cover our... Got it. No problem. Isn't it illegal what this person is doing to us? It's hard to, especially where she live stream, or you both, I don't know, is it both of you that live stream? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So especially where you both live stream on national, like, you know, it's international. Yeah. Anybody can do it. Right? But it's an English guy. Anybody can get that information and then trying to track that down. Like, they're smart, right? They're computer savvy, so they'll use IP addresses and change but so, it's illegal what they're doing. Thank you. Swatting calls, essentially, but they're not. They weren't reporting that you were doing, besides saying that you were smoking crack, right? Like, with the exception, if they said, like, you were... You just killed your daughter and yes, you're going to kill yourself. Right. Something like that. If they did something like that, like that type of squatting call, yeah. and it elicited a significant response from the police department. We have six police officers here. Well... You have four <laughs> and oh, two yeah. trainees. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. But with uh, that being said, a it's... Significant response. Like, well, awesome. Supposedly, you're, you're here. Well, only two of us were dispatched. So, yeah. But with that being said... It sounded interesting and I showed up. <laughs> 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 you want to know the honest truth. <laughs> because I have something right. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. So really, really yeah. Yeah. it's more to just expose people to different things, right? So that's why we kind of calls. But you guys are all set. We apologize that this happened yeah, to you, no. obviously. It's kind of the nature of what you do for a living or, you know, for fun. No, it isn't. So. No, no, people shouldn't have to go through this. No, absolutely not. Their second amendment rights. First amendment rights. Well, it's, I don't, I'm not saying that I agree with what they're doing, but. It's the nature of you putting your life out there for everybody to see that somebody out there is not. No, it's because there. people like, I'm not saying you guys, it's because law enforcement doesn't attack these people. That's the problem. It would be nearly impossible to track them down. But. Oh, shit. They okay. do it with, they do it with terrorists, right? People, people are trying to plot things against the government. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. That's for us. To Take care. To the FBI. Thank you. Fucking cunt. The Bring fuck out of my fucking room. Fucking embarrassing. Fucking cunt. Fucking cunt. It is the nature of what you do. No, it fucking isn't, you fucking whore. Well, you believe. No, Grace, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Apologize for that. I apologize. It's stressful. Well, she's not going to well, see it. To, it's, it's, it's stressful. I'm sorry. She doesn't. She's not, she doesn't care. Well, it, Saying, like, <sighs> I'm sure she understands that I was stressed out. I'm sorry, officer. That's why you, you don't take any action. That are raped. Well, that's just the nature of being a beautiful young woman. Yeah, right. Where's my other microphone? Yeah, you get raped. What can I tell you? 
there, she's just trying to absolve herself. Of, you know, she could have just said, we're sorry. But at least she didn't do the usual thing. She said, like, don't put your phone on. If I was you, I wouldn't put my life online. Hello? Oh, you're yeah. Social. I'm just trying to find a microphone. Like Here you go. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's right here. <clears throat> so a third police officer is dispatched. It comes here because she's bored. I think you have too many police officers on your force. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't they say, well, if you can just go wherever you want because you're bored, then we have too many police officers on our force. <clears throat> yeah. You have four uniformed police officers? to pursue something that there's no evidence for? Yeah, right. Why, why wouldn't they just have phone, uh, phoned us? I don't know. Why, why, yeah, why? Oh, the coin's at 2,075. Damn! <laughs> wow. Can I get a... a what? Yeah, it's in the RV, actually. Are we going to stream from the RV? I don't need a key. 